Guess what I have here? This is one of my all-time favorite movies. It is Heat. And guess what game draws inspiration from this movie? Watch Dogs. I highly recommend you checking out this movie. It is one of my all-time favorite movies. And I am thrilled that Watch Dogs is drawing inspiration from Heat. So let me know if you've seen Heat. And let me know what you think of the movie. But for now, let's talk about more Watch Dogs. Get to the video, damn it! Hey guys, what's up? It is Robbie with Open World Games, and man, does the Watch Dogs news just keep rolling in. It is absolutely relentless. We're going to be talking about the idea of becoming mayor in Chicago. That is incredible news. And then Lake Pawnee, we're going to be taking our first glimpse at that. And we're going to be seeing a lot more from Watch Dogs version of the mob. They are going to be playing a big role in Chicago. And then, more importantly, I'm going to be joined with fellow YouTubers Super Rebel, Watchdog Central, and Silent Core to answer your burning questions. If you have any, please, by all means, leave them in the comments below. And then, of course, interact with me and all the guys out on Twitter and Facebook. Because, yes, we will respond to nearly everyone out on Facebook and Twitter. So, guys, sit back and enjoy. So first up, we've got what is being called City Hotspots, and I detailed a little bit about this in a previous video. We know only a little bit, but as you can see here, we have a little bit of the map visible, and then we have a detailed description of what City Hotspots is. It's called City Hotspots App, app being the really important word here. It's obviously going to be associated with the mobile uh, companion app, possibly. I'm thinking that this is going to be something where you're interacting with the console players and the mobile players uh, at the same time. So it goes into describing the app as this tourist app allows you to check in at city hotspots, discover history and information about the city of Chicago. And this first part reminds me of Assassin's Creed when you walked up to a building uh, and you got to learn about its history. So I think that's what this is gonna be about in Watch Dogs. And then this is where it gets really interesting. It goes on to say, earn badges, pick up gifts left there, or leave gifts for other players. Now, th isn't that interesting? This is the first time I have ever heard of this feature. And it's obviously an online feature. We may be able to gift certain uh, items to other players. I'm wondering how extensive this is. Uh, of course, I'm wondering, can you gift weapons? Can you gift money? Can you even gift cars? We'll find out soon enough, but I'm sure it's gonna be limited more to the mobile players gifting to other players. I'm gonna be totally blown away if you would be able to gift weapons and that sort of thing to other players, because this is really the first time I've ever heard about this feature. This is a pretty prominent feature of the game. And then it goes on to say, do the most check-ins in a specific spot over a seven day period to become its mayor note. You must wait one hour before checking in again to become mayor or claim badges. So a clever user over on watchdogsform.net named I'm in Ontario says, I think it's not a literal mayor of Chicago. It's like an app in real life called Foursquare for the iOS or Android. And I think he's actually right about this. I did some homework on Foursquare. I'm going to include a link in the description so you guys can check out this real life application yourself, but I've never used it. I've never heard of it until now, but Foursquare is a location-based social networking website for mobile devices such as smartphone. You check in at venues using a mobile website, text messaging, or device-specific application selecting from a list of venues. And here's the part that pretty much matches up with the Hotspot app from Watch Dogs. The Foursquare app goes on to describe itself uh, by saying each check-in awards the user points and sometimes badges, which is also in Watch Dogs. The user who checks in the most often to a venue becomes its mayor 
and users regularly buy for memberships. So this is all pretty much jiving well and it sounds like it's going to be more for uh, the mobile uh, and console users to interact with one another. Again, I don't know how extensive the reward system is for checking in or doing things at these hotspots. We will just have to wait and find out, but I will be sure to keep you guys updated, so stay tuned right here at Open World Games. And here is a quick glimpse at what is being called Lake Pawnee. This is where the dam is located at. This is going to be more of a rural area that you will be able to explore, and I'm sure you're going to be goofing around here a lot in free roam. What's interesting about this area is I'm really curious to see how hacking works in the more rural environments away from the urban jungle that is Chicago, because I'm going to be sticking to mainly the urban environment to uh, hack bridges and then stoplights, because I think that's going to be a ton of fun to goof around with that with friends online. But this should be a ton of fun to take motorbikes out here and then do some of the bigger stunts because there are going to be uh, stunt jumps in this location. So stay tuned for some awesome stunt videos right here on Open World Games. And we have a brand new character to show you guys. He's being described as a mob boss within Chicago. So the mob is going to be a prominent role in the story, it seems. His name is Dermont Lucky Quinn. He is a mysterious old guy, and he's got a cane. They go on to describe him as being an intense, imposing man who has survived countless attempts on his own life. He is the head of the Chicago South Club. Quinn uh, knows that embracing technology is what elevates his operation to unparalleled success in the criminal underworld. So, the mob world is very involved in the hacking scene, it seems. His morals are shady, but he holds to these morals. He lives by the gun. Violence is a necessary by-production of an ordered world, so he is your friend to the end until you turn on him. Then his retaliation is unrivaled. This isn't a pampered mob lord. This guy's fought for everything he owns, and he's still fighting. So it sounds like this game is going to be pretty tense when it comes with, to the mob, and you're going to be dealing with hackers, the mob, and then of course the police. So everyone is going to be a actually after uh, Aiden in this game, especially if you take your vigilante justice way too far. It's going to be important to stay within the lines. And now Super Rebel, Silent Core, Watchdog Central, and myself are going to answer your questions. So here we go. Let's do this. I am joined with Super Rebel 123, Brett from Watchdog Central, and Dan, also known as Silent Core. Say hello, Super Rebel. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Super Rebel, and yeah, we've been meaning to do this podcast for quite some time. It was, I was actually meant to be on the last one, but it turned out Robbie was dead when we was meant to be doing it. So uh, yeah, and it was like 1am 1, 1 in the UK. Yeah. So I was dead. So now I'm And I am now so back cool. in the land of the living and we have Brett from Watchdog Central. Say hello, Brett. Hey guys, Brett here, connected for Watchdog Central. And I don't know what to say after my introduction. So go ahead. <laughs> that was good enough. I think that was good. And then we have Dan, also known as Silent Core. Hey, I'm Silent Core. And that was my classic intro. Classic. Classic in DPs. <laughs> okay, so we have some questions here. We're gonna get straight into them, and this is gonna be for uh, Dan, this is for Silent Core. Yes. Where uh, will there be blood when you kill somebody? I've been watching a lot of gameplay, and it doesn't look like there is. Yeah, um, I've noticed from a lot of the trailers there isn't much blood, but I don't know if that's kind of like a, a thing a lot of game trailers have, they just don't put a lot of blood in the trailers just so the trailers don't get age restricted. I don't know, maybe maybe in the real game there's a bit more gore, but I don't know, from the gameplay we've seen, we've not really seen that much gore, have no, we? No, no. I heard from an article like yesterday about the first mission, and this might be a spoiler to you guys, so if you don't want to see this, like skip a couple of seconds, but apparently like the first scene is going to contain quite a lot of torture. Okay. And like there's going to be blood I everywhere. I have heard so that. At least that's why. That I heard is actually anyway. what I have heard. I've heard that there's torture scene and it's going to be pretty gory, so I think you are right, Dan. I think that they're doing the age restriction thing, so the majority of people can become interested in watchdogs. Next question. This question is for Brett. Uh, it comes from Ennis Hamzik. It goes, I have one question. Can you customize your cars? 
Um, no, you can't customize your cars, but there is an app called Car On Demand where you can basically store any cars and you get that from like hacking people's information and you can basically collect all the cars and watchdogs if you want to, but you can't, cu you can't customize them or put like spoilers on it or anything. Like some cars might have spoilers on it already and if you like store that you can have like a spoiler but you can't do anything else with that like change the color or anything i believe yeah yeah and what do you think about that super rebel do you think that's disappointing do you wish there was car customization or how do you feel i think it would have been i think it would have been pretty cool with car customization but then again it probably wouldn't have been because i don't know i'm not really too fast either way whether there is car customization or not that's how i am but yeah i'm basically the same way i hope they do include it in Watch Dogs too though that would be nice yeah. There might even be a DLC they may add later on in the game, like when they see people really wanted it. Like, you never know. Yeah, yeah. It would be really nice to see. I, I really yeah, like uh, customizing my car. That actually goes into the multiplayer customization. I had a question, and the question was, um, are you disappointed that you cannot see your own customized character in multiplayer? Uh, I guess I can go first. Um, I'm not really disappointed. Yeah. The thing is, you will be able to customize Aiden Pierce. Um, and I think that's all the customization I need because I've played Assassin's Creed, I've been fine with that customization. Uh, and I really do like how they're keeping it sort of like the Dark Souls 2 mentality, you know? You uh, play seamlessly, you're with one character, you're customizing that particular character. I think that's what they're going after. So think Dark Souls 2 in terms of customization and keeping your character intact. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, like Robbie said, it's not like a big deal to me. I mean, at least we have the option to customize a character and hopefully in Watch Dogs 2, we can like be able to customize it and other people can see it. But as of now, I don't really mind being Aiden Pierce because, you know, you're going to play as him the whole game and you're really going to be connected to him after playing through like the main story and everything. So I think Ubisoft did the right thing. Yeah. And how do you feel, Dan? Um, I don't know. I, I get the feeling that a lot of people want the customization of the character and the cars as well. Like people, because people are just really comparing it to GTA Online, really, and people are just trying to um, get the same sort of freedom uh, that's in GTA Online for the customization. And I think that kind of the focus for Watch Dogs is more in the story. So I, I don't think we can be too picky on the customization that we've got. Okay. Yeah, I totally agree with you guys about that. I think that it's going to turn out fine. I think people will be pretty happy with it. Uh, Alexander Griswell goes on to ask, can you kneecap people to make them fall to the ground? Also great videos. Thank you. So, um, Super Rebel, I'm going to start with you this time. Can you kneecap I think, people? I think you can, but I think it might be something similar to like Mafia 2 if either of you guys have played oh, yeah. it. Like where you, you kind of go into that mode where you push like a lot of buttons and it does like that little combo thing. I think it might be like that from the way we've seen it. Okay. Um, I have seen the trailers, they go into the focus mode, I think you could do it in focus mode, and what it's really for is uh, incapacitating the cops, because you don't want to kill the cops, so yeah, you can actually kneecap the cops, but I don't know if they fall to the ground, I would imagine they would. So it's a yeah. cool feature, I really do like that feature. So so does that mean that if you shoot a cop in the legs, you don't get wanted for that, or you just get a little bit more wanted Well, I think, I, I do believe it uh, lowers the progress of the wanted level it's not as severe of a con consequence if you're killing cops that's a different story i've heard it's extremely difficult if you start killing cops i mean it gets insane so you don't want to kill cops in this game from what i understand i said i'm, I'm happy just by shooting cops in the knees because like in gta if you even like barge past the cop you get like three star wanted level which sucks <laughs> so yeah if this Dude, actually so slows down the process of your wanted level then i think that's pretty cool and it'll, it'll be funny just shooting cops in the knees anyway from the way they drop, so, yeah. <laughs> Dude, sometimes in Grand Theft Auto, a police, like, a police car will just run into my car, and I'll get, like, a star from that. That's half. Oh, just dude, from a no, never had that happen me. yet. Dude, dude, oh, I was God. outside the police station, and a cop came and stole my car whilst in another chase. So what I did was I followed him and, like, barged him into a corner and got my car back, and I got, like, a four-star wanted mm -hmm. level. <laughs> These cops sound like they're nuts. They are. They're insane. Like freaking Terminators compared to GTA 4. Oh. Yeah, I think they're gonna be even harder in Watch Dogs. I think they will be. You know what? I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. And KJ Clark goes on to ask, can people who have a PS3 play with those who have a PS4? Because I have a PS3 and it would be cool if you can. And this one is for Dan. What do you think? Um... 
I don't think that you can do that for any game because it's just the console limitations. Is That's that right? correct. Yeah, you will not be able to uh, do crossplay with Watch. Because yeah. I saw a lot of people asking that about Destiny as well. If you're gonna be able to play with like PS3 with PS4, oh, yeah. and I think I think it's just the console limitations. Like the game developer can't really do anything about it. Yeah, that. I remember the only game that I've ever really seen do that is Shadow Run for the Xbox 360. You could crossplay between the PC and the Xbox 360, which was interesting. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. So they have done yeah. it. And for Watch Dogs. And for Watch Dogs, there's uh, the CTOS mobile companion app where you can basically play with someone else. Like when you're on your mobile device, all you need yeah, is Wi-Fi. That's right. And yeah, you can play with someone yeah, else. Yeah, that's a pretty good fix That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Alex Haywood goes on to ask, how many difficulties will there be? Um, I would imagine like the four standard default ones. You know, like easy, normal, hard, and then like legendary, but they won't be called that, obviously. But yeah, I think you'll, they'll give you like four options, maybe. Yeah, I think you're pretty pretty, pretty accurate. The only thing I've heard officially is that, that there is a realistic difficulty. So I'm wondering if there's just your normal difficulty and then a realistic difficulty. But I would really like to see the four stand. Do you think it's gonna? Do you think it's gonna go like hacking at the end? So it'll be like pro hacker then rookie hacker or something like that then really advanced like if you unlock like, a difficulty i yeah, doubt it because yeah. the reason why i doubt it is because most people will not finish this game it's like 40 to 50 hours just for the single player story and then you have 100 hours to do the side activity so i don't even think people will get to the end of this game i will in four days i know i will <laughs> oh i'll just breeze right through i'm gonna be so addicted to it man but of course multiplayer is gonna eat up a lot of my time so that's another thing I th I'm, I'm really looking forward to multiplayer, like playing with friends like you guys. I think it's going to be crazy. Oh, awesome. yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to play. Do you think there will be like cinematic views in multiplayer or just single player where you can place like a camera and record stuff for like machinimas or no? Oh, that's a good question. I doubt it. Maybe the PC version will have a mod for that, but the console version, I'm not sure. But I bet, yeah. you know what? Actually, I bet you could use your phone. I bet you could do some cinematic stuff with your uh, camera phone or something like that. I yeah, wonder if be... you can take a selfie. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I, was just, I was just literally thinking that. <laughs> there would you probably be could. Like that. You could probably do some crazy stuff <laughs> with the camera phone. I hope so. That'd be really cool. All right, guys. That wraps up this episode of Open World Games. Please be sure to check out Super Rebel at his YouTube channel. Watchdog Central right here on YouTube. And then, of course, Silent Core who is also right here on YouTube. You could find all of their awesome YouTube channels in the description below they are covering watchdogs and you can expect some awesome multiplayer footage from them as well as me right here on open world games so guys subscribe to all of us join our communities we are all also out on twitter and interacting with the watchdogs communities and stay tuned for more watchdogs right here we're going to be continuing extensive coverage of this game i cannot wait to finally play this is so exciting I will see you guys online. I'm I happy with shooting notice. them in the knees. What? Awkward. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I can cut this off. It doesn't really matter. I mean, seriously. Yeah, okay. You guys are okay, interrupting each silence. other. <laughs> yes, you are a slut, Brat. Here. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. I already... I accidentally pushed enter. Usually the ones who deny it are usually the actual ones who are like who knows we will maybe brett's on the corners of the roads at night if you know what i'm saying <laughs> maybe maybe that's why i don't get videos out every day and maybe that's because why he's making such good money who knows maybe that's why robbie's never awake apparently <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true i live at always always Robbie. <laughs> Dude, this this is coming. This is making all. This is making sense, literally. <laughs> this explains everything. You guys will see me on Dateline. And then we have the silent one. We have Dan, who's just like, no, no, they're on to me. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Super Rebel, and uh, thanks for having me on the podcast. Right, and then here is Brett. Say hello, Brett. Dude, hey guys, this is Brett, Rebel. connecting from Watchdog Central. And there is guys, Dan. Guys, Simon guys, 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 guys. Guys, wait, 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 can we do this what, again? What? Yeah, sure, we can do it yeah, again. I said, if you guys mess up seriously, I, said, I, I said, could do it again. I'm so used to doing this. I said, what? I said Super Rebel. I know. It was awkward. I know. <laughs> that you got your own name wrong.
What is wrong with you? <laughs> I don't know, it just came to my head. Just...